With his first punch alone, Vegeta had already surpassed Goku, but Jiren caught Vegeta off guard. His body hit the stage so fast, no one in the stands had even figured out where his body had gone. Vegeta felt a laugh come up. It seemed that last attack had made Jiren mad. Vegeta was sure Jiren wasn't used to being hit, especially not with the amount of force he had put in it. He rushed his body back to the place Jiren stood. This feeling was amazing, far beyond anything he had ever imagined. The fists of the two warriors sped past each other's faces, the clashes sending waves of destructive energy across the stage. Vegeta knew his old self would have been furious. Just the sight of him would have had Vegeta fuming. So why the difference? For what reason had Vegeta found himself sitting on the sidelines, actually smiling as he watched that amazing sight? Could it be that he was Vegeta's main source of motivation? Or had Vegeta actually started to care about Goku? Either way, he was proud to see another Saiyan reach such a level. But the familiar question wouldn't leave his mind. Would he be able to get that power too and eventually catch up to the almighty Goku? Could he too achieve Ultra Instinct? Vegeta knew deep down he could. He hadn't fine-tuned his key for nothing, but he had grown sick of this vicious cycle. Interestingly enough, Vegeta just didn't care. For once, he felt more confident in his own powers. And with Goku now completely drained of energy, Vegeta made a decision. Now would finally be his time to shine. Vegeta set his sights on Jiren. But to no surprise, Jiren's little posse was here to save the day. Maybe he had been reckless with his energy. Had Topo felt Vegeta's excitement spilling out? But it didn't matter. Vegeta saw Topo as nothing more than a bump in the road, an obstacle he couldn't avoid. Standing between him and his biggest challenge ever. However, it was clear Topo had no intentions of letting Vegeta pass. He may have been just an interference, but Vegeta's body was beginning to feel heavy. Topo wasn't playing games, and if nothing else, that was something Vegeta could appreciate. Vegeta's rage mixed with his excitement. Perhaps Topo would turn out to be a worthy opponent after all. Vegeta made his first move, but he was suddenly stopped in his tracks. Both fighters searched the stage for the source of this amazing power. Vegeta couldn't stand that feeling. It was unfortunate that he even knew what it felt like at all, but there was no mistaking it. Those girls that Goku was fighting had fused. But why did Vegeta care? Was it possible that he felt protective of Goku for once? He had seen it with his own eyes. The amount of energy Goku had used with Ultra Instinct would leave anyone completely lifeless. His opponent snatched Vegeta up. He was disappointed in himself. How could he let a fusion that had nothing to do with him distract him like that? Careless mistakes like these could cost him his chance to win, his chance to get stronger. Vegeta knew he was better than this, and so his frustration grew. As he refocused his efforts on the control of his key, Vegeta was able to overpower the crushing of his ribs. Topo had proven his strength to Vegeta, but he wasn't strong enough. Vegeta threw Topo's body into the ground, and his body refused to move. But Vegeta wouldn't be fooled again. He knew Topo would wake again very soon, ready to begin their fight again. Taking this time to catch his breath, Vegeta felt the sudden surge in power. Goku had reached Super Saiyan Blue form. Goku really needed to slow down. Or better yet, Vegeta decided he really needed to speed it up. Topo's body started to stir. Vegeta's hunger for more power was roaring louder and louder inside him. The ultimate test of his key training was almost within arm's reach. But to his surprise, Vegeta would get distracted again. It was embarrassing to admit, but it just couldn't be helped. The speed with which Goku was regaining his energy absolutely amazed Vegeta beyond words. And being honest with himself, Vegeta noticed it only made his heart feel colder. For the first time in his life, Vegeta wasn't jealous of Goku's newfound powers. He was jealous of something else. It was always Goku's time. Every enemy they had ever faced only saw one person, and that person was never Vegeta. He glared behind his opponent at the real source of his current anger, Jiren smugly sat there meditating. The nerve he had to think Goku was his only real opponent, the strongest person there. The very thought of this drove Vegeta crazy. Why was it always like this? Why was he always ignored? Vegeta's level of anger reached a new height. He had full capability of learning that technique, even more so than Goku. Jiren was lucky that Vegeta didn't learn Ultra Instinct right then and there just to spite him. And just then, Vegeta blocked Topo's fist. Vegeta was so worked up, so full of anger, that he'd forgotten he was in battle. Had his body had he been fighting for him all this time? Did this mean he was also learning the unbelievable technique? But then to add fuel to the fire that was Vegeta's anger, the pressure of Goku's Super Saiyan Blue had disappeared. Left in its place was a very calming energy. Could Goku not allow Vegeta just one chance to prove his power? Just as he had felt the reality of self-movement, Goku had to once again steal away his thunder. Ultra Instinct Goku had suddenly reappeared, and as if that wasn't enough already, Keifla's power exploded. Any true Saiyan would know that Goku had only one 
one way to respond. Vegeta was already annoyed with him enough. Now this girl had to push Goku's limit even more? Goku's yell echoed across the arena. He was turning into a new form. Vegeta's own battle randomly came back to his mind. Was he still fighting without even noticing? One look on Topo's fearful face confirmed Vegeta's hopes. His words rang like the sound of sweet bells in Vegeta's ears, but unexpectedly, the bells were drowned out by a different, much darker sound. A pile of floating rocks came crashing down. Jiren's feet sank down to touch the ground again, and as he headed straight to Goku, he walked right past Vegeta without even a look in his eye. Vegeta knew he was not weak, and it was about time he proved it. But the simple truth crashed Vegeta's plans. How could he possibly get Jiren's acknowledgement now? Goku had pushed past even the limits of his limit. The amazing victory of learning Ultra Instinct that Vegeta was on his way to achieving paled in comparison to Goku's power now. For once, Vegeta did not feel angry, nor did he hold a grudge against Goku. Sadness now filled Vegeta's soul. But as Vegeta's body was thrown into a high standing rock, he found himself actually feeling indebted to his opponent Topo. He had successfully wiped out Vegeta's sadness. The urgency of panic started to settle in. He wouldn't allow Goku to take his thunder again. Vegeta thought he had outgrown these feelings, the jealousy of never being first, never ahead of Goku, always just one small step behind. But the sight of Jiren still headed towards Goku, not even knowing Vegeta even existed, brought out all these old feelings again. This fight with Topo had to end now. All of a sudden, the world slowed down before Vegeta's eyes. The pace of Jiren's footsteps turned sluggish. Topo's fist moved toward his face, as if the air had turned to mud. Vegeta looked down at his hands. A strange aura had appeared. He had become Ultra Instinct Vegeta, but it still was not enough. The closer Jiren got to Goku, the less time Vegeta had to eliminate his own opponent. Topo had proven to be a tough opponent by himself, but that didn't stop Vegeta from wanting something more. He wanted a harder challenge, a fight that would bring him to his limit and then push him past it. Only one person could provide what Vegeta was searching for, and that man had his sights on Goku. Vegeta's time was running out. Soon Jiren would reach Goku, and their fight would end Vegeta's hopes. All Vegeta wanted in that moment was to prove that he was good enough to fight Jiren the Grey. He dodged Topo's fist with ease and pushed his body out the way. Jiren still didn't even notice him. Watching the Goku vs Jiren fight, Vegeta had seen that Jiren could keep up with this incredible speed. Surely he had to feel Vegeta's quick moving presence, but if he couldn't, then Vegeta decided he had no other choice. He would just have to force Jiren to turn around. Vegeta's anger started moving through his veins. The power building up was the most intense he'd ever felt. And then, Jiren was forced to make a choice. Which of the two were the strongest? Vegeta smiled. Jiren had chosen to turn around. Vegeta had been successful. All his obstacles had been removed. And all that was left was Vegeta's ultimate goal. The strongest opponent of all now stood before him. Ready to test his limits, Vegeta charged forward. Did Jiren really just force himself to block? With his first punch alone, Vegeta had already surpassed Goku. But Jiren caught Vegeta off guard. His body hit the stage so fast. No one in the stands had even figured out where his body had gone. Vegeta felt a laugh come up. It seemed that last attack had made Jiren mad. Vegeta was sure Jiren wasn't used to being hit, especially not with the amount of force he had put in it. He rushed his body back to the place Jiren stood. This feeling was amazing, far beyond anything he had ever imagined. The fists of the two warriors sped past each other's faces, the clashes sending waves of destructive energy across the stage. The amount of training Vegeta had put into controlling his ki, mixed with his raw strength, finally proved to everyone that he was an even better match for Jiren. And even worse for Jiren, Vegeta was adapting quickly and learning from every move. He was slowly closing the gap between their powers, and even if he couldn't get to Jiren's level quite yet, Vegeta was still smart. He knew that the more he observed Jiren's every move, he could outsmart him and eliminate him. But that required time, and it seemed Jiren was also adapting quickly. Vegeta's timing would have to be without flaw. The best moment showed itself, and in unison, the two fighters pulled their arms back, ready for the final blow. The sound was like rocks crashing into the stage. Vegeta felt the sting of a fist dig into his cheek. He opened his eyes. What he saw in front of him brought him back to reality. Topo's overconfident face was clearly pleased with that last blow. And as Jiren reacted to the pressure change of Goku's new Ultra Instinct form, Vegeta started to feel the same panic as he had in the thoughts he had just played out. But this time, those old feelings disappeared quickly. There was no need to feel jealous of Goku ever again. Vegeta was still hiding his own form. Sure, the quickness of that technique would come in handy, the ability to dodge every single attack, but Vegeta didn't feel like he needed it. He could take the pain of a few hits. The key control he had already learned gave him enough to dodge the worst of punches. What Vegeta wanted the most now was no longer to just be stronger than Goku. He no longer wasted time training himself just to get the same new ability as Goku had already achieved. Now, it was Vegeta's turn to bring out something new. The harsh fact was, 
He had no desire to become an Ultra Instinct Vegeta. However, there was one thing that lingered on Vegeta's mind. In fact, he was sure it was on everyone's mind. As Goku passed limits he didn't even know he had, many questions came to mind. Not only Goku, but everyone around him still had much to learn. Ultra Instinct was already known in the world of the gods, but there were things that even they could not explain. Never before had they seen Ultra Instinct applied to the powers of a Saiyan. Now they could learn what Ultra Instinct really was, and also what it wasn't. Even Goku still wondered what this heat meant. Why was he emitting it, and how was it any different from Ultra Instinct itself? But as Goku experienced these feelings for his second time, he 